Hello everyone and welcome back to my Ultimate JNSQ series in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In the previous video we had some struggles with a rescue contract and many people offered suggestions. The first one I'm going to try is from Daniel Muniz who suggested just editing the save file so that it is a pod that does have a hatch. I have done so. But full disclosure, I opened the save and went to the ship uh, already. Actually I went to the rescue Leo and for some reason it had G-forces going out of control and the pod exploded uh, just when I turned to it. So something went wrong there. Now I had added a chronometer and for some reason the chronometer and that was supposed to adjust the day length or whatever and or the clock and the chronometer wasn't the right version for KSP so I've removed it and we'll try again and this time I'll go directly to Sergey's wreckage which should be a mark one pod dot version two or something like that. Anyway, it was the same one that Lanley was in already, so we know it works. And we will see if we get some other glitch. If we do, I'm gonna have to think of something else. Okay, well, so far so good here. Now the rescue Leo is over there. Now, of course, the parts that we added to this are all over the place now. I didn't think this was Mark 1 Pod version 2, but okay. Um, let's just switch over to the rescue Leo. Yeah, this had exploded before. Maybe chronometer had some weird thing. I don't know. Uh, so, well, let's just get the rescue Leo over to it so that we can get on with our business. Okay, I mean, the question is, with all the stuff that we've added on, is the hatch obstructed? Let's see. Well, apparently not. So, so you can get out. This is the easiest thing. Uh, I shouldn't have had to deal with that mess in the first place, so I'm gonna go with, let's just do this this way. I'm sure I will cause myself some other tight, tight spots that I'll have to figure out my way through without having a game glitch do it for me. Okay, so Sergei is on board. Sergei's a geologist. Right. Anyway, uh, so let's get to the mission that Sergei was supposed to be in charge of. And we'll probably just build, uh, bring Bill right back down. I don't know, maybe we should have a engineer up, but let's save Bill. Bill's our only engineer right now, and obviously very important. Uh, can do things. So we don't want to lose Bill or anything. Okay, continuing on. I mean, on the bright side, Sergei's a geologist, so should be able to get a green sandstone, right? Should be right in Sergei's wheelhouse. Okay, that's probably close enough. Now it goes Sergei. We packed plenty of nitrogen for all of this business. I forget, is the pressurization system still off on this thing? Yeah, it stopped, so that saved us. We can turn it on now. Alright. We actually want Sergei to go into the Hermes lander. That's the part that's going to be transferring. We're hoping that the upper pod will just be remote controlled in this case, and we don't have to leave Bill up here with it. And uh, somebody said, uh, talked about radiation shielding and low coronary and saying I don't need it. I know I don't need, didn't need it. That's why I only put it on the Hermes capsule. Uh, this window was hatch related, right? Yeah. Okay. So we shouldn't have any shielding up there. See, no shielding on the part that's going to stay in low carbon orbit. Uh, just shielding on the part that isn't. Okay, but first we'll bring Bill back down because Bill is a very valuable member of our team. And so, we will once again try to get to the KSC, I suppose. Though it's in the dark right now. But, you know, recovery value and everything. Uh, we'll wait in orbit. Need some sort of reference points for where we deorbit. 
the, the orb burn. I like this lake thing here. Let's say we go with this lake thing. We we're actually that pod. Oh, no, that pod. Okay, so lake thing, and we are going to bring it down to 30 and see what happens so that we can get a reliable estimate for what we should do for re-entry. I mean, for this pod, of course, different pods will have different ballistic coefficients. Okay, that's close enough. I'm going to configure and arm the parachute. Alright, separation of the service module. Someday we'll make one that it's all built in, but not just yet. The heating issue is just a whole other thing, but we'll do it this way for now. I've seen comments that uh, other people have not had the heating issue, I mean from high orbits in other playthroughs, so that our thing is anomalous, but I don't know what mod might be causing it, so. So I guess if you uh, have played JNSQ, did not have the heating issue from high orbits, if you could take a look at my mod list in the video description and see what I have that might be causing it that you did not have, that would be helpful. USI is probably going to be high on the list. I can't quite see how USI cause, would cause the problem, but then again, I can't see how chronometer would cause the g-force problem on the pod so and yet removing it stop the pod exploding from g-forces so maybe things aren't so clear okay here we go I mean it's undeniable that just on a low carbon re-entry, we use most of our ablator, <laughs> so um, that's already pretty daunting. Something has got re-entry heat really high around here. Let me just quickly take a look at the settings. So I have re-entry heating at 100%. I assume that that would be normal, but Tell me if that's not the case for other people's, I mean, I'm guessing that's probably normal. Okay, so how close to the KFC do we get? Pretty darn close, actually. We're uh, just past it. And it'll depend on the apoapsis after we retroburn, you know, from the orbit that we're coming in from, whether it will actually get to the KSC or not. So it's probably not a bad thing, 30 kilometers from that one lake, if I can remember that lake. Or see that lake, I mean, <laughs> it might be covered with clouds, this is horrible. I should have picked some other way of referencing it. There's uh, even the island runway there, right? Well, it's not called, it's called uh, Harbor Water. No, the island runway, well, I don't know arbor water thing there. Okay, splash down, recover just in case something goes wrong with buoyancy. Alright, 97.4% uh, and it measured our distance from that welcome harbor water. So that was convenient. Alright, well on to the Minmus mission as we were supposed to do. Alright, I plotted the Minmus transfer, but I forgot we have to separate the pod up here first anyway. Um, hopefully if I control from there, we can separate without losing the maneuver. No, this thing has the maneuver, so alright. Well, I'll have to replot that, but this pod is separated, it still has comms. I forget if I put any additional antennae, I don't think so. Anyway, it'll be ready to go hopefully when our recurve gets back. Doesn't need to orient actually. Uh, we've got the RTGs. Power is clearly balanced. Alright. So with this, 
I'll replot again. And hopefully it'll tell me about solar storms. I need to make sure that it's telling me about solar storms, because I swear it didn't give me much warning last time. Space weather. I had turned it off for some reason. No wonders. Yes, we need to know about that. Alright. That alone might have killed Lanley. Oh, we're on the periapsis side and pretty close to the atmosphere. We'll probably have to tilt up a little bit. And go. Oh, wrong. Go. Alright, I think I'll finish up the rest of RCS. Probably not even necessary because we're going to do a mid-course adjustment there. Alright. Uh, that's not right. Oh, how did that happen? Um, uh, okay. Well, we were crossing the radiation belt and exposed to extreme radiation again. We'll check how that's actually affecting Sergey in a bit. We probably want some inclination just because we're going to want to hit some other biome. Then again, getting the sandstone out of the Midlands was certainly a lot easier. Uh, we'll want different surface science. Okay, well, in the radiation belts we can't orient to reduce the effectiveness of it. So far, 0%, but we'll see. Okay, go. Alright, but on to Minmus we go. Sergei Kerman has been exposed to intense radiation. Look, they didn't tell me... Oh, for heaven's sakes. Okay, we're aboarding, we're aboarding. Uh, I was not brought out of time warp for solar storms or anything. Maybe it was turned off for him. I don't know where we got the t intense radiation. I mean, we got we went through the radiation belts. It doesn't say anything about a solar storm, but maybe it wasn't configured for this one. Uh, it still had the storm off here. Gosh darn it. I said it in the, diff uh, the settings, but I didn't have it on for this pod in particular because it had been off during this time. Okay. Well, sorry, we are going to have to abort. I I don't know. Maybe we can still go with fifty percent. I mean, ooh. I mean, it depends if there's another solar storm, right? I guess. Uh. Oh, we somehow got the signs from space around Mimus. We aren't even there yet. Shoot, we'll try. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Please tell me if there's a solar storm though. Oh, oh, time to impact. Well, I mean, it's not like bringing him back would have stopped that. Okay, we'll try the. This pod wasn't really very much oriented towards the sun in the first place, but. Okay, um. McJeb, I wish we had Smart ASS. It can do a very good job of orienting with respect to the sun. Okay, you can't get more unsunned than that, right there. Right? Well, let's find out what happens. Trying to bring him back sooner wouldn't have changed anything. These solar mass ejections happen too often. He just got baked by one and now there's another one. Okay, here we go. Okay, safe this time. All right, all right, all right, we'll be fine. As long as I'm told, I guess. Okay, capture burn. For some reason around Mimbus, there's like, the plume is completely different, and it's wrong. It's like an inverted plume or something. We had a pretty fine plume before, but around here we have Weird lack of plume. I mean, there is sort of a effect going on out here, but it isn't a proper plume. It's weird. 
Okay, that'll do for now. Alright. Now, at least we can have MechJeb show us- Oh, Smart ASS is here now! Wait, there's a lot of- a lot fewer things. Some modules are disabled, yeah. But, now we have Smart ASS, what happened to change which modules? Because, like, I thought it was completely different. It had, like, the opposite modules before. Speaking of which, we don't have the one that I wanted, which was my custom windows. Uh, well, great. Uh, okay, well, I guess I can do this. Um, something has messed up my MacJib windows. Great. Okay, what we need is not in this category. Uh, we need the surface biome. And let's go to Space Center and remind ourselves of the biomes we want. Brown Highlands Basins, but I'm not clear about the basins. We, we should just go with Brown Highlands. We've done the Midlands, so that's the best bet for science and the green sandstone. But Highlands are bumpy, potentially, so... But then again, Mimus doesn't have much gravity. Okay, whereabouts? Well, let's just separate from that stage. Well, maybe we'll need to make an inclination adjustment. I don't know. Brown Highlands. Brown Basins? I mean, I know it said Basins, but I don't know. I, I, maybe it meant Brown Basins? What's with Brown anyway? Nothing around here is Brown. But there's also Minmus Basins, so it's tough to tell whether it meant Brown Basins because it said Brown Highlands and Basins or whether it just meant regular basins. Mimus Highlands are a separate thing. There's a Brown Highlands and then there's Highlands. It's all mint ice cream. I don't know what you're talking about brown. Maybe maybe they're chocolate chips. Oh, oh, oh. I just saw Brown Highlands, but then we passed it really quickly. Here, Brown Highlands. Okay, we're going with this one. Okay. And we're just gonna cut our surface velocity dead right here. <laughs> oh, we went to Midlands. Well, in theory, we're pointing in the opposite direction, so we'll get back to the Highlands if we keep... if we just overburn in this direction a little bit. Okay, Brown Highlands again. But are there enough brown highlands to actually find a stone at? Well, we're gonna have to pick our landing spot a bit. Well, I'll try for over here. Okay, we have landed. All right, very quiet landing. Okay. Well, Geologist, EVA please. And Faceplant. Customary Faceplant. Plant Flag. Sergey in the Brown Highlands, hopefully. I'm here for the rocks. Well, that makes sense. So for sample, EV report. Okay, well we can't verify that we're in the Brown Highlands right now, but I think we are. But can I find a rock in this sort of situation? Not those rocks. I'm sure it's a smallish rock. Barely visible. I guess we should knock into a few rocks just to convince it that we're trying. Okay, we are on a rock. It is not the kind of rock we're looking for, as expected. If we go too far down, it might not be highlands anymore. We have helmet lights. We have helmet lights, but they don't do a whole lot. Oh, I see a little rock there. I see a little rock. Uh, it might not be that little a rock, though. We'll see. Seen pretty little. But it doesn't look different. 
I don't know, but it might be just because we're at night. Okay. No, it's not special. We need to go back soon though. But last time we also saw it when we were on the way back. Yeah, that looks so oh, I knocked into it. Oh no. That looks the same though. Yep. Yeah, nothing special there. Well, we are now on the way back. Well, we'll go past the pod a bit since we have some... Well, it might be safer just to go in. I don't see anything. It's hard to spot anything in the dark here. I don't know if it's going to replenish the propellant since it's mod propellant. I doubt it. Oh, we should have depressurized the cabin too. But we're not going to be in it for very long anyway. Okay, well, we are at Brown Highlands. So something went wrong with the dash uh, apostrophe S there. Um, well, let's see. If we pop them out again, well, let's this time depressurize first. He does have more, more ma propellant. You know what? Um, hold on, I want you to board it again. Shoot. Uh, let's wait until daylight. It'll, it'll, this rotates quite a, quite quickly. Let's just wait. 